Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation 5 controller, aka the DualSense, to Mac to use it on the RPCS3 emulator, which is a PlayStation 3 emulator. So to do this is really simple, you have two methods. One, to go wireless through Bluetooth, which you know your Mac will support, or to go via a wire, and this has USB-C, and you even need USB-A on the other end, or USB-C, wherever it takes, you'll need to connect that up. So those are the two methods. USB is plug and play. The Bluetooth method, plug and play enough, or connect and play enough, it's just you just gotta sync it, which is any just with anything for Bluetooth. This video is obviously Simzy Voice Setup or PCS3 on Mac. Feel free to check that video out if you haven't. Plus there's videos for Mac, Linux for this and the setup in on the channel. So feel free to check them out. Okay, so let me minimize this a bit, hopefully. And to sync it up, you can either go and sync it up via Bluetooth and or, you know, connect it via wire. So if I connect it with, via a wire, literally this simple. And then the light starts flashing, it's connected, that's it, there's nothing more to it. If I disconnect, it's no light, and to connect it via Bluetooth, you click on the Apple icon, go to System Preferences, go to Bluetooth, and here we need to pair it. To pair it, you need to put this into pairing mode or discovery mode. And to do that, you press the share button up here, and the PlayStation button down here at the same time for a few seconds. And then if I do that, and you'll see the light will start flashing. When you see it starts flashing, just let go. You appear, click connect. It'll go solid. Boom, it is now connected. So this is the same if you're doing wireless or wired. And now that's it. To configure it, you go to RPCS3, go to pads. And in here, select dual sense. I did select refresh and there we go it's detected one controller and one great thing is if you go to configure it detects motion as well which is fantastic okay so if you're playing a game like Lair you can actually use your PlayStation 5 controller to play Lair and actually control the dragon using the motion which is fantastic and to map it you just press a button if I want to map it to circle that's it and maybe as default or default mapping just because it's a one-to-one -one mapping virtually from the ps3 controller it's just there's a i mean yeah it is the, i mean there is a mute button but apart from this it's an extra button other than that you've got nothing else to worry about you can change it obviously for a different device if you wanted to different ps3 controller like a guitar or a dj controller and you can enable and disable large and small vibration which all works great and the analog six when I move them, they appear down here. You can configure the dead zones as well, which is fantastic. It's, it's great if you've got something like you know joystick drift, and that's it. Uh, obviously, you can you know see the battery status. You can change the LED color if you wanted to. Um, so if I was to change it to red, click apply. It's now red and that's it i mean you can change a few settings here if you want to but i'll just leave it as default so now i'm gonna click save just finally show you because i've already got the game launched which is resistance fall on man and controller is highlighting i think it's just my battery is low but as you can see i can move i can shoot Obviously, for me to properly play, I need to do this, and that's it. So I'm going to have a little game, and then we'll wrap up. So let me blow this up. This will meant to be that flagship title, because... Title, thingy xbox had you know, halo and then gears on xbox 360 this was meant to be the one that you know blew those out the way and you know though i loved it and still do to this day i don't think this holds up as well as those i feel like sony really didn't do shooters until ps3 really because they had those very arcadey their games were
and you can tell by the control scheme it's just like what type of control scheme is this it zooms in the right analog stick I guess I mean that's Halo but I feel like the zooms more important on this game than the old Halo games than it was on the old Halo games it's more like a Call of Duty game per se yeah, I don't know if you shoot these, they would start going off. how the hardest game was you know without healing so you get the healing ability a little later Ooh, this is the one let me play this a little bit and then we'll wrap up come on Go on, really want to play with that weapon. I want to tag them and then I want to get all the bullets going towards them. Like that. This is one of my favorite weapons. I'm doing terrible. Damn, those textures look bad. Okay, I'm gonna... Is this still open? It's still open, I'll deal with it after. So yeah, that's it. That's how you set up your DualSense controller on Mac. Simple as that. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the Discord group for more great content. Bye bye.